Okay, starting sequence. Fuel on, it's vertical, flow through. Choke is all the way up. This is the kill switch here. That's just a push button, it's off, that's fine. And then up here we have the throttle. Oh, about, I don't know, a couple of centimeters up. And we'll give it a try. Contact! Sure, choke! Dies even before. before. So it's not the fuel cap. Dies without choke. Mm -hmm. Very good. Step one, let's get the air filter off here. Comes with a couple of little snaps. Snap, snap. Air filter's off. Just pulls out three screws if you want to take the rest off. There we go. Fuel coming out. Bolt is loose, so we can undo it underneath. Takes the float bowl off at the same time you get access to the jet. There's the float bowl, and there's the jet inside. Simple, just sits there. Now, the jet for metering the fuel is actually in the end of the screw here. So if you Take the jet out, just hold the screw, take a screwdriver, take out the jet. You can or just blow it out, you can remove it. And voila. Now, on the top of the carburetor, we've got two brass screws. One of them here appears to be for air from the outside and from the crankcase to be equalized across the, the bottom of the carburetor. This little screw here lets some air in and through the bottom. It looks to be a couple of little holes that could also get plugged up. There we go. So I'll blow a little compressed air through those. There we are. Now here's the low idle adjustment here. So if we screw this out a bit, it allows the stop here to go a little bit further back. So at idle, you can set the speed. Hiding underneath this uh, spring here appears to be the mixture control. So that can also get gummed up. Let's see how many screws it is in. Count the turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That was how many half turns it started at. And now let's just take it straight out. So it started out at 13 turns and there's the end tiny fine adjustment could use some cleaning and we'll blow out everything with compressed air let's get a little bit of carburetor cleaner inside there we go wow it looks like those orifices are connected Let's help it through with a little bit of compressed air. And refill. Very good. Let's put a little more air through it one final time to blow out the junk.
put the needle valve back in. I remember it was 13 half turns from seated at the bottom. So I'll put it back where it was, just hopefully without the junk in there. Okay, this little jet here has been cleaned off and blown out with air, so it's time to throw him back in. Maybe one last squirt. All the way down. Like so. See how that works. Jet's all blown out. Nicely cleaned. Float bowl's cleaned. Float is cleaned. Inch goes. And up and over. Screw in. Air filter back on. Looks to go either direction. Pushes in a little bit. There we go. Actually, I think one side might be bigger than the other. And snack the cover plate on. This is the choke, by the way. Choke up like this, closes it off. Choke down, it opens it up. So this is the running position with the butterfly open, and this is the butterfly closed. This little notch on the top lines up with a notch here. Put it on, and click, and click. Let's try this thing.